number 10 is Street Eats. This dining option is in a great spot located on the Lido deck. It includes three different stations, Time Fries, Steam Dream, and Mad Sizzle. And the dishes at each of these stations change every day. We enjoyed a few different food options from Mad Sizzle, but overall, we didn't find ourselves returning here much after the first two days. Number nine on the list is Pizzeria Del Capitano. We visited here several times for late night pizza. Number eight is Lido Marketplace. This is a nice casual dining option with great views from the tables along both sides of the ship. The food selection includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and there are hot food options, deli counter, salad bar, Asian station, pasta bar, and an omelet station. Chabang rolls in at number seven on the list. The restaurant offers both Chinese and Mexican cuisines. We didn't venture into the Mexican dishes, but we both opted for the Chinese noodle bowls during lunch and loved them. Number six is Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. This sea day lunch option offers a buffet with meats like pork butt, smoked beef, smoked sausage, and chicken, plus sides like mac and cheese and beans. Most importantly, they have the best Bloody Marys on the ship. The main dining room is number five on the list. They offer the broadest range of meals that include breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. Our favorite times to go are sea day brunch and elegant night. We really enjoyed the Eggs Benedict and Frittata for breakfast and the Prime Rib and Lobster for dinner. The Carnival Chocolate Melting Cake is also always a good choice for dessert. Plus, during dinner hours, you can expect to see a show that includes singing and dancing. Number four on the list is Big Chicken. This spot offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My favorite breakfast was the chicken and biscuit with the chili honey glaze. I also love the chicken strips with shack sauce. We never had any issues with long wait times on our cruise, so it was a great place to stop in for a quick bite to eat. Overall, this is a must try new food option. And that brings us to number three on the list, Blue Iguana Cantina. Located on the Lido deck across from Street Eats, if you're in the mood for tacos or burritos, breakfast or lunch, this is the place to go. Try the fish taco for a light snack or go with the burrito if you're looking for something that will fill you up. Next up is Cucina del Capitano, coming in at number two on our list. We went here once for lunch and twice for dinner, which says a lot about how much we liked it since Mardi Gras has so many great food options. It had to feel like you were in an Italian restaurant, and the best part was it didn't cost any extra to eat there. My favorite appetizer was the arancini, and Jared's was known as meatball. I also really enjoyed all three pasta dishes that I tried, and Jared favorited the chicken parm. This is a place that I would highly recommend trying if you're on Mardi Gras. Now for our top rated restaurant on Mardi Gras. Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Starting with the appetizers, Morgan had baked onion soup and I had the bone marrow and beef tartare. For entrees, we both had the cowboy steak, which was a bone-in rib chop, and we absolutely loved it. We were too full for dessert, but we got to watch table art being made on the table next to us. Overall, this was well worth the $38 price tag. 